with the game. But you know I'm ballin', feelin' just like spotting. All right, motherfuckers, this is Master Marks, and I'm coming back with another motherfucking goddamn live video. And today's video is simply titled, The Bloodline is the Greatest Faction Ever. Now, of course, everybody knows uh, Solo Sokoa won the uh north american championship on nxt yesterday so that means now the bloodline has both raw and smackdown tag team championships both raw and smackdown uh fucking heavyweight championships and now they have a title from nxt let's be honest man and and i want y'all to understand this that family that family that Roman comes from, that the Usos come from, that Solo Sokoa comes from, that Rikishi comes from, that the wild fucking Samoans or whatever, that they come from and shit, right? That family is never going to stop being a great family in the wrestling business. And, and the thing about it is Roman has twins. Roman has two sets of twins. So that means that the legacy of that family will go on further and further and further and further. It will never fucking stop. You still got The Rock's daughter. She still ain't even fucking in that shit fully yet. So let's talk about the bloodline. The bloodline, which consists of the Usos, Roman Reigns, Sami Zayn, because he is the, uh, the I think he's the honorary Us or something like that. Paul Heyman and Solo Sokoa. Solo Sokoa. That faction is the greatest faction that was ever created because they have every single thing every single piece now i know dx was good um there are things that are tricky to dx that i'm also not a fan with a uh, fan of and then i know that um I, I know that fucking the nwo was good but at the end of the nwo it started to get very tricky and it started to get kind of shitty the nwo red and black versus the nwo black silver and white black and white whatever the fuck and then you have the Four Horsemen. So the Four Horsemen are the Four Horsemen. They are a great faction, um, but that, that faction isn't great without, of course, Ric Flair and Arn Anderson. So, um, I mean, you could you could take put Telly Blanchard in there. That's fine. But, but the Usos right now are the best tag team in wrestling. And they are the best tag team that's probably been, been around in a very long time. One of the best, if not the best. Because they meet all of the criteria. They can wrestle as people like. They can do high-flying moves as people like. And they have charisma, character, can cut promos, can talk on the mic. Then you got Roman Reigns, charisma, minimal needed work in the ring, can talk on the mic as a heel. They have it all. Sola Sokoa, he could be the muscle. They can push him as muscle, which I think that's what they're going to do. That, and then Sami Zayn, the Sami Zayn, comic relief. You, Paul Heyman, one of the greatest fucking managers that has ever been in the business. So, that group right then and there is the greatest faction ever. It's the greatest. There is no other factions that have been put together that just fucking work. That just fucking make sense. The Shield, it made sense, but the Bloodline is better than the shield because not only is it a real family but they're also like a fucking faction bro like it's it's a family thing and they have chemistry they have straight up chemistry they have trust between each other they grew up with each other they took fucking high school pictures and pictures when they was in school with each other for family pictures the bloodline is the greatest faction ever there is no more dominant. There's not a do more dominant fucking faction in the bloodline. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And the bloodline can continue on because if Roman go away and you bring in Jacob Fatu, it can still go on. The bloodline is the greatest faction ever in wrestling. It's the greatest. The only other fucking faction that's probably been better than the bloodline is peanut butter bread and jelly that's it that's the only other group that i can think about this better than because peanut butter and jelly be fucking hitting 
Y'all, AEW Pack Smokers, shout out to the AEW Pack Smokers. I hope y'all are having a very, very, very wonderful fucking Wednesday. Um, yeah, shout out to the AEW Pack Smokers. But, like I'm saying, the Bloodline is the greatest faction that has and was ever created. Because it just makes sense. When they are in the ring and they walk down to the ring, they just have that presence of legendary. They have a legendary presence that makes you think down the years, people are going to talk about the bloodline. People are going to recreate the bloodline. There will be a bloodline reunion. There will be. The bloodline is the greatest faction that was ever fucking created in wrestling. It's the greatest faction ever. It is the most dominant faction ever. Dominant. They are a dominant faction. And I know people say, oh, they push Roman Reigns in the moon, even though he's a heel. And also, listen, the reason why they get pushed how they get pushed is because they are fucking dominant. They are a dominant faction. The greatest faction ever created. Because it just makes sense. It makes more sense than the shield. It makes more sense than the fucking straight edge society. It makes more sense than fucking... The, the NXT guys, when they first came in, it makes more sense than uh, a lot of fucking groups that were put together. It's not like those silly ass groups that, that was put together like the JBL cabinet or whatever the fuck with Orlando Jordan and, and uh, the Basham brothers and shit like that. That was silly as hell. But I mean, it still was good TV. The Bloodline is the greatest faction ever. There is no faction that can ever be as strong as the bloodline not the elite not hey listen hey look i have no beef against new japan wrestling or japan wrestling or japanese wrestling the bloodline is bigger bigger than the bullet club now if we're talking about bullet club with aj styles finn balor if they would have stayed with each other maybe possibly we never will fucking know because of course they did take their bitch asses to wwe as they should but as far as all the factions, when you look at a full faction that has been together, a full collective of wrestlers that have been together with Roman, the Usos, Sola Sokoa, they may bring in a female. I do think it is time. Maybe just throw a fucking curveball out there. Bring in the Rock's daughter. Bring in the Rock's daughter. She may not be ready, but. Neither is Dominic Mysterio. So, I mean, y'all motherfuckers put Dominic Mysterio on the TV. He's not ready. He's never been ready. He's never going to be ready. He's never going to have an opportunity to be ready because he's not an NXT. He needs to take his monkey ass to NXT. And I know people be like, oh, you just hate Dominic Mysterio so much. I don't hate Dominic Mysterio. I just hate how Dominic Mysterio is presented to me as a person who watches wrestling. I don't think Dominic Mysterio is ready. He's a cool kid. He swagged the fuck out. His fashion is fire as fuck. But him in wrestling is not ready. Back to the greatest faction. The Bloodline is the greatest faction created. And as of right now, and this is, this is a big statement. Roman Reigns is the greatest. As of right now, he's the greatest world champion that WWE has had. Because, I mean, Cena's great. No disrespect to Cena. Cena is a great champion. Paul was a great champion. Um, Austin was a great champion. But the dominance of Roman Reigns and just the, the presence, the presence of Roman Reigns is just, it's, it's, it's what a wrestler is supposed to feel like. when you or, Okay, it's what a person who watches wrestling is supposed to feel from a wrestler. When you watch wrestling, you're supposed to feel like this person is bigger than life. Like when they speak, they are legendary. They are greatness. That is why people used to watch wrestling. Kids used to look up to people like fucking Hulk Hogan. Now, of course, they're not going to look at his monkey ass now because he's a racist bitch. Fuck Hulk Hogan. But that is what it is. I don't give a fuck about Hogan. I never gave a fuck about Hogan. I, I don't never. I didn't get him. I didn't get him. But whatever. There's other guys that I put over Hogan, of course. A lot of guys. That I would put over. Motherfucker, I'll put Coco Beware over Hulk Hogan. <laughs> I'll, I'll put, um, I'll put, um, fuck, Bobo Brazil 
And I know a lot of motherfuckers are like, oh, damn, Master Marks, you really know a lot about uh, the old wrestling. Yeah, Bobo Brazil. I'll put Bobo Brazil over fucking Hulk Hogan any fucking day, any time, any fucking day, any time, any place. I will put Bobo Brazil over Hulk Hogan, and I'll put Coco Beware, because that is my dad's favorite wrestler, over fucking Hulk Hogan. <laughs> but, yeah, the, the Bloodline is the greatest wrestling faction ever. Uh, I don't see a lot of factions that will be better than the Bloodline because they are family and they can continue that fucking faction going. So at the end of the day, the Bloodline is the greatest faction ever. Shout out to Solo Sokoa. Shout out to the Usos. And also, shout out to the Tribal Chief. Shout out to them ones. Because we, them ones, shout out to the motherfucking Bloodline. This has been Masked Up Marks. Make sure you leave a like, subscribe, comment. Tell us if you hate us. Tell us if you love us. I'm out this bitch. <laughs>